Let's get started. And first in line this Saturday morning is Denny from Orlando. Denny, you're on News Talk WDBO. Go ahead. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Um, I have a question. My mother passed away um, recently, and she had left my son as beneficiary of her life insurance policy. All right. All right. Um, of course, she had no will. And as because my son's a minor, you know, I had power of attorney when she was alive, and I am, I guess, I received the payment for my son. But um, the payout amount that they're saying we get and what I show as the death benefit of the policy are two very different amounts of money, and they won't tell me anything about it because I'm not the executor of the will. I'm really not sure what to do next about to find out what's going on with that. Well, Denny, let's back up for a minute. How old is your son? He is 16. And, Denny, uh, under the Florida law, you, as a natural parent to your son, can hold up to $7,500, I believe, without a guardianship. Is the sum of money going to exceed that amount? Uh, I believe it's supposed to. Okay. It was because supposed to. You, because you may have to set up a guardianship for your son in order to receive those funds. If you okay. had to set up a guardianship for your son... Once you are appointed legal guardian for your son for this money, uh, mm -hmm. that would be the legal authority you need to deal with the insurance company to find out the answer to this question. But they won't tell me. They're saying they need the executor of her will to discuss it. And I said, but there was no will. And I'm telling, I, I'm telling you yeah. that there's an alternative to that, Denny. So, okay. yes, we could go to court and have you appointed an executor. But you know what? You're going to pay a few thousand dollars for that. We don't want to do that if you don't have to. Right. Okay. What right. I'm saying is what you may have to do is a legal guardianship to get access to these funds to begin with. And okay. as legal guardian, they would speak to you. This is just another route to get this information that you need. OK, perfect. So they can t disclose things about the policy to me because I am the legal guardian of the beneficiary. No, you've misunderstood me. OK. OK. A natural parent in the state of Florida can hold up to $7,500 for their minor child without a legal guardianship being established. Okay. If the amount of money exceeds that, so for example, if your child is in an automobile accident and they're going to award him $50,000, they will right. not just write a check to you, mom. They will right. make you establish a legal guardianship, have you appointed a legal guardian over this money on behalf of your child, and then they will pay it to this legal guardianship. Okay. If the sum of money that you're going to get from this insurance policy exceeds $7,500, you are going to have to establish a legal guardianship with mm -hmm. the court. And as legal guardian, you will then have the authority to talk to the insurance company. Okay. So, because the problem is they're saying we're only getting $400, but yet I show the death benefit is being $7,700. And that's why they, they said I needed to be the executor of the will. They're giving me a whole runaround. So I do need to establish... Guardianship, even though they're saying the amount is so much less than what I'm showing the, on the policy? Well, they're prepared to write you a check for $400. Is that what you're telling me, Denny? Well, yes, but I have the paperwork that shows the actual value of the death benefit is $7,700. Well, I, there's no way that I can explain to you over the radio, because yeah. I don't know why that difference okay. is. Uh, yeah. Denny, uh, but th I think we've gone about as far as we can go with it today. I don't have any easy solutions for you, unfortunately, Denny. 